there was a drive by Tony Blair to have by 2010 200 city academies and eventually the whole concept of sponsorship which is where a sponsor if they put forward a million pounds could sponsor an academy so if the government said go and sort that school out that's what we did they have signed on somebody to the trust that's actually a huge property developer and we discovered the land's worth 11.7 million pounds without planning permission what interests would a property developer actually have in a school independent state-funded schools which operate outside the local authority system. Once a school becomes an academy, it's a private organisation and as a result there are no, it's not accountable in any way to the public, the community or the local authority. I don't want my children taught by humans that are being turned into robots. So, I'm going to do everything in my power to stop that. The teachers told us their point of view in terms of how it would affect education as a whole. The children most likely to be excluded are children on the autistic spectrum, children with SEND, working class kids, black kids. No matter what parents and the community said, don't dare resist us, we are going to beat you. I know children will not get an education if we don't stop this. I don't want our school to be turned into a factory. Ten children are being targeted. This is a child that's been out of school for ten months. This is building a fundamental corruption into the way we're organising our education system. We've lost our, our freedom to teach. The resources in schools are being held down and it's bringing burnout replaced. Bringing burnout replaced. Speaking to head teachers, you know, within academy chains who feel that they've just forced out of the profession, they don't want to do it anymore because just working under very powerful, controversial chief executives. We felt really undermined, undervalued, disrespected and I guess that's what kind of drove us to keep fighting it because we weren't going to put up with that nonsense. What do we want a democracy? What do we want it now? You're entitled to a ballot. Damien Hines not available. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, it's just the standard that uh, official will come and but I'll make sure that he gets to see it. Okay. Mr. Damien, hi. How are you, sir? It's nice Do you to see you. think the process of academization is undemocratic, ignoring parents and teachers in the process? No, I think Planting it's a good opportunity governor. for many schools. Hands up! Oh, right. This case is hugely important. If they get any sort of victory here, there will be a massive boost.